I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. My format, Guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! Override delivery service, anyone, anywhere, anytime. Hi, it's John Luke. Is this Dot's data compression takeout? No, wrong number. <sighs> Is this a sign of things to come? Enzo, how's your new delivery service coming along? Oh, great! Just huge! Seriously active! I was written for this format! I'm going multi! Quality! Major even! I'm crunching along at high bot and proud of it! Call me whenever... Enzo? Yes? We're glad to hear it. Yeah. We'll be downstairs if you need us. Bob's going to mend a tear that showed up after the last game. Okay, coolness. We're talking high density here. You'll see. I'm gonna be as successful as you sometime, Dot! <sighs> as soon as I get some orders. Enzo's override delivery service. Anyone, anywhere, anytime. Enzo. Mega breath? Uh, I mean, megabyte? I understand you have a new delivery service. Well, it's not exactly new, if you call 31 nanoseconds new. But it was a way for me to be just like my awesome sister Dot. And also to get to fly around on a zipboard making dangerous deliveries to far off places that. Enzo. Yes? What a persuasive sales sprite you are. You've convinced me to use your service for all my deliveries. Alphanumeric! You mean it? Oh my! All the deliveries for you and your whole evil empire? Whoa, coolness! That must be a lot! Wait till Dot hears about this! Oops, she'll say no. She hates your guts. Very well. I suppose I can always find someone else to process daring deliveries to exotic places. No, 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 no. I, I can do it. I'll just, uh, tell her later. Yeah, that's it. Uh, perhaps. But first I have to see how you handle a test program. You can count on me. This may be my first after-school function, but I'll show thought that I'm big enough to handle... <clears throat> Take this package to Hexadecimal, but whatever you do... Don't tell her who sent it. Oh, it's a surprise. Precisely. No problem, Mr. Bite. <laughs> Wait! Here it comes. Watch your eyes! Glitch men. Stop! Bob, I did it! <clears throat> I mean, 
I did it. I received my very first order. No way. It's true. Congratulations. Well, got a zip. I wouldn't want to be late to hexadecimals on my first delivery. Okay, be careful out there. Hexadecimal? Did you say hexadecimal? Yeah. Who sent this package? Uh, it was, uh, some guy named, uh, Jean-Luc. Yeah, that's it. Why would anyone send a package to Hex? What's in it? A bomb? I don't know. It's a surprise. A, a bomb. bomb. Better access what's inside, just to be safe. Glitch X-ray. Looks like a mask with a clock in it. I wonder if there's a market for something like that. See, it's not a bomb. Can I go now? Enzo, I can't let you go to Hexadecimal's Island. Huh? Oh, sure. I know what your problem is. You don't want the competition. You don't want me to succeed. Enzo's the little brother format, and Dot's the big businesswoman who... No, Enzo. It's too dangerous. She's right. Lost Angles is no place for a little sprite like you. Hey! You're supposed to be on my side. My business is doomed. End of file. Log off. I give up. I'll never be as cool as Dot. Oh, compile up. Act your age. There's a simple solution to every problem. Bob, you deliver the package just this once. Enzo, you continue your business and don't quit file so easily. And make it snappy, Bob. We've got more fixes left in here. <sighs> How does she do that? What? Get everyone else to do all the work? Yeah. Don't ask me. I've been trying to figure that one out forever. So many moods. So little time. Huh. Scuzzy. How dare you interrupt me when I'm putting on my face. I shouldn't have done that. I was glad to see him. How good to see you, Scuzzy. What have you got for me? A delete command, masked as a mask. She'll never know what erased her. Now all I need is some unsuspecting fool to deliver it. Like this poor boy. Delete me, will he? Time to calculate a little surprise for our dear Megabyte. I'll delete him and his delivery boy, too. <laughs> this is the way it always goes. I miss all the cool stuff. Why do I always get lost in lost angles? There's nothing worse than having to ask a null for directions. Well, almost nothing. Come on, shoot! Find someone else's energy to eat! A decimal. I didn't expect it to be you. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I've always been me. I have a package for you. Enzo's override delivery. A package for me? Whatever could it be? A mask. 
What a shame. I already have one. You'll have to return it to Megabyte with my regrets. Megabyte sent this? You know, returning things isn't really part of my function. Have a good one. I said take it back. <laughs> Must be Hexadecimal's on the ground. Bob should get to Megabyte's tower just as the clock reaches zero. Oh, I'd like to see Megabyte's face when his own time delete bomb goes off. I don't want to see it now. How diabolical of him to hide a delete command in a harmless mask. I wish I'd thought of it. Dude! Bob's in major trouble, and it's all my fault! Ah! Strange. That looks just like Bob. No! Stop! Ugh. We gotta warn Bob that the mask he's delivering is really a Bob Megabyte! And I didn't want to tell you it was from him, because you never let me input anything exciting. But I didn't know it was going to get Bob in trouble, and I was fun of Megabyte's are going to blow up any nano. Enzo, Enzo, slow down. Now let me get this straight. The package from Megabyte is a bomb? And Bob has no idea. I see what you mean. We've got to warn Bob. While well, there's still a Bob to warn. Deliver a package to Megabyte from Hexadecimal? I don't think so. Glitch! Rotor! There he is! Thank goodness he slowed down. Oh no, not now! Maybe later, you nut. Now, we gotta find Bob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you again, Gary. Good to see you. Certainly Bill. is a Lonnie wonderful day. 65 degrees Absolutely. Here. <laughs> Shut up and rain. Looks like Formula One. <laughs> Good thing we know the formula. Reboot! White car in the pole position, car number five, a user car. Gentlemen, start your engine.
clock, and the clock's gonna win. You know what this means, Enzo. Oh boy, do I. Reboot! Yahoo! Whoops! Pardon me. Thank you. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the lead. Whoa! Of course I could be wrong. See who gets to level three. You okay, Dot? Fine, just go. We're Bob's only hope. Enzo, I think I have an idea. This should get his attention.
Fighting game corruption. Yeah! Bob, you're okay! Not good. This is not good. It's an infinite data Elsa flu. What's that mean? It means run like you've never run before! delete command in the mask, just like you said. Only you didn't know because I should have copied and pasted the truth from the start. But will you ever forgive me for inputting you in so much... Enzo! Dot, Bob and I are sharing a camaraderie after the game. You risked your life to come into the game and save me. Oh, I couldn't let anything happen to you. You couldn't? No. Enzo would have blamed himself for it. Oh. But Dot... Enzo, you failed me completely. Why, thank you. You're fired. Oh, you know, I'm so disappointed. I have found someone else to deliver my packages. Hexadecimal said... Yeah, hexadecimal. She said she, she, said said she, she already, already has, has one. one. She said she already one. has one. She I did. said that. I know. Hack slash... Uh-oh. I think he means us. I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. My format, Guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot!
my path to the supercomputer. More work, more servants, more power. You wish. What? Get him! It's Bob! Stop him! <laughs> He'll erase if he gets within ten bits of that magnet. <laughs> It's not good for business when you sit on the customers. Oh, sorry. Here, Bob. Uh, table for two, sir? Yes, Cecil, please. That's Cecil. Wait at the bar. Wait at the bar. Care to join me, Bob? Uh, sure. Thanks, Dot. <laughs> Somebody moved my stool. Cecil, a drink for Bob. Of course, ma'am. Tall cool one on track one! Dot's Diner, fastest food in mainframe. This is true. Oh, cool. What's this? A magnet. Magnet! It's okay. It's shielded. Oh. <laughs> you better get that to old man Pearson's data dump down in sector 1001. I will. Thanks. Go ahead, Enzo. Give Glitch a try. Really? Alphanumeric! Glitch? Uh, hammer. Flashlight. Uh, jackhammer. Auto stone. Oh. What have I done? Poor Dot, erased by her own brother in the prime of her input output. She's too young to end 
while, too young to quit with those savings. It's all my fault. If only I... We'll get her help, Enzo. Don't panic. Doesn't anyone here know how to reverse a magnetic erasure? No, but Fong would, sir. <laughs> Uh, Fong? Dot needs help now, as in not later? Shh! Concentration is important! <laughs> ah! You have good backspin, my son! You're telling me. <laughs> now that you have whumped me at my favorite game, you have proven yourself worthy of my vast knowledge and endless wisdom. What was the question? I told you, it's Dot! She's been partially erased by a magnet, and they said you would know how to return her to normal. Hmm, magnetic erasure, huh? The source code accelerates an unstable file fragmentation, leading to a complete delete. Whoa, you lost me, Fong. Can you repeat that? In plain DOS? Probably not, but I can tell you that Dot needs to access some really, really, really slow food. It will decelerate her accelerated condition and return her to normal. Well, what are you waiting for? Any shock or sudden movement could completely destabilize her. Hurry! You don't have all seconds, you know! And he knew a place that serves this kind of slow food. Owls wait and eat. Level 31. Level 31? No way! <laughs> Level 30, 31? You down can't go there. It's too dangerous. Shh, not to worry, I've got this all figured out. Bob, but, 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 it, 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 it's my problem too. Vid, 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 use a window to call. Oh, call, 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 call. Not another word. You do the relaxing, I'll do the saving, okay? Man, she's really out of it. Oh, oh, can I go with you? Level 31, can I, can I, huh? I'm counting on you here, and so is your sister. Hang in there, Dot. Bob's on the job. Whoa, tough room. Hello? May I take your order? This is an emergency. I need slow food to go. Fast! Ha, ha, ha. That's a good one. Hear that, Al? What? Slow food doesn't go fast. That's why it's slow. If you want to order some food, take a number. Four thousand ninety-six. Must be the lunch crowd. Now serving number three. I have a function for you. Hack and slash. I am proud to announce that I am Hack. And I am Slash. He is Slash. I am Slash. I Don't am you Hack. Know us, Mr. Hack Megabyte. and Slash, I get it right. Guys, I'm blue. Let's not waste memory on unimportant details. I need that magnet. I want you to search and retrieve Bob. Bob? Magnet. Ooh, Ooh, oh, yeah. I don't like that. Oh, oh, no, oh, problem. no problem. Hey, no Please problem. Please, the, the PC okay. yeah. What's the deal with Seven? Why is everybody afraid of him? Because Seven ain't mine! Ah! 
Can't you process my food any faster? Look, pal. I gotta feed this whole room. I got a partner on my back for this big takeout order. And Al back there only runs at three decades. What? You gotta wait online like everyone else, okay? Help me, please! I need your food on a matter of life and death! Zip off, punk! I've been waiting for this since I was four! <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? We already paid Megabyte! Don't smash up the place again! Everyone, I'm looking for a dear friend. Seen him lately? Care to train? Uh, what? You give me food, I'll get rid of your friends. What? Uh, sure, you got a deal. Here I am, Megabyte. Well, seize him, you fools. You have to catch me first. Hey! Ah! I was gonna say that. Grabs Dot in her condition, she could really be in distress.
Nice belching. I think Al's getting the hang of the furnace. What? Night busy while I access the damsel. You got it, Bob. Glitch, BS and P. Help! Don't bother to get up. I'm just passing through. like you, not a damsel in this dress. That color is you. Hey, why haven't you bowled me over yet? <gasps> Where's Dot? I'm supposed to be saving her, remember? She's right there, Bob. Dot, you're, you're better. Not for long. I can't fight him forever. <laughs> By myself. All right, I'm coming! I don't think so. The icon hit his icon! Job. You mean it? Yeah. All right, I give up. How did you get back to normal? I was trying to tell you before. Al and I are partners in his business. I just vid windowed for a delivery. You and Al? <sighs> so much for me being Mr. Save the Day. Care for some uh, slightly used food? No, but thanks for the thought. Bob! <gasps> It was quite difficult and time-consuming to process that magnet, Bob. I think I'd like it returned. And the sooner, the better. Hey, no need to be so dramatic, M.B. Glitch, tongues. I was just gonna toss it anyway. Here, catch. Ah! 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 Ah!
You know, it's a, times like this I feel extremely close you know, to you. I was going to say the and same thing. And there's something I should tell you, you before we like before we hit rock bottom. What? Ah, uh, oh, it's too late. We're not even close to Al's. Nope, not even. Speaking of which, Dot, is there anything in Mainframe you don't own? Maybe. Who wants to know? I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. My format, Guardian, to mend and defend, to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! account inputs. It'll just take a nanosecond. Thought? You promised! Remember that speech you gave me about keeping your promises? Thought? Hello? I'm coming. Pretty cool, huh? I don't believe it. Bob? Is your car actually running? Yep. Isn't it awesome? Not again. Dot! And the net codes? Formatted and docked? Of course, Ms. Matrix. Please, call me Dot. Yes, Ms. Matrix. <sighs> what do you think, Enzo? Yeah, let's. Wait! Just one more call. That's all. <laughs> you two put me down. <laughs> Woohoo! What's our status? Status! After all the time, all the effort, all the lies, we finally have it. Gentlemen, meet the Medusa. Finally! Hexadecimal's ultimate weapon! What is it? A box! I don't know. It's a box? 
She thought she could hide its secret from me. She thought she could develop a weapon this powerful without my knowledge. Oh, poor fool. be her now. You lie! You lie! I was a fool to trust you! How true. It was, however, very clever the way you tricked me out of one of my toys. But whatever could you do with it? Just a little trinket. You might as well give it back. Really, Hexadecimal, I don't have time for this. Oh, how very, very sad. I'll have to destroy you all, then. Well, get to work, you two. I don't keep you around for your brains now, do I? No, sir, not our brains. Absolutely not. Ooh, this is it! It's over now! Oh. Ow! Oh, this is heavy! This is not in my job description. Oh, that's heavy! Oh, I don't care where you're from, that hurts. Ooh. Then I shall smite you myself, dog! Gentlemen, show the lady some of our own toys, won't you? I'll see you back at the tour. Dear Hexadecimal, I am so disappointed in you. It was her fault, you know. Her increased security and strict privacy led me to my victory. She was so careful, so secretive. I knew she was up to something. And yet, despite the length and scope of our operation, we still do not know the true nature of the Medusa's power. Until now. No. No. This is no weapon. It is a viral bug. Computer, identify virus. Full scan. List possible cures and counteracting agents. Fire type. Unknown. Counter agents. Unknown. Cure options. Unknown. Getting your sorry self out of trouble? Unknown. I see you found my little surprise. <laughs> Isn't it sweet? You, all this time, all your secrecy, all your security, my whole operation. Yes, yes. A trap. Now I suppose you'll want thanks for all your hard work. Oh, I hope this was the right thing 
to do infect all of Mainframe with an unstoppable bug. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Nice picnic, guys. I'm working here, okay? I'm working. Want some help? <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I gotta admit, it is kind of nice to get away from it all. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Don't risk it? Check it out! Something weird is chasing Frisky! File type. This is bad. Very bad. Uh, Bob, I think we are next. Uh, I think you're right. Glitch, ignition. <laughs> Quick, try her again. Again! Uh, boys. Frisk it if the same thing happens to us. Don't worry, we'll be back. When we know what we're dealing with. Bob, what is that thing? We need to see Fong. Now. It is a bug, pure and simple. It can and will spread to anything it touches. We are all at risk. You, Bob, however, may be immune since you are a guardian. It is difficult to tell. Trust me, I don't want to find out. But I do want to get out there and warn everybody. We need a plan first. Poor Frisket. I bet old Mega Dump is behind all this. I say we crash his tower, big time. I don't know, Enzo. This one isn't his style. It's too unpredictable, too dangerous. It's completely random, almost chaotic. Hexadecimal? Bingo. It must be her. Look, even the Tor has been infected. But not Hex's island. Hexadecimal, huh? This one's got me worried, Fong. I mean, that Hex is as loopy as they come. I'm gonna need everything you've got to fight it. Bob, worried? Dude. Worse yet, children, is that the longer one is infected, the sooner they begin to decay. See here. Low energy goes first, like this sign, but then high energy goes next. High energy. Sprites like us. And frisk it! Truly. That's not even funny! What are we gonna do? Dot, you and Enzo get everyone evacuated from the city. It is next in the bug's path. Right. Bob, you come with me. We must hurry. Greek action. <laughs> Hey, you two be careful out there. You too. I'll need two Highline Virucidals self-adjusting and a level 8 desktop rebuilder wide fielding. What? This is not the supercomputer, Bob. 
I'm afraid this is all we have to offer. Virus or race command? Don't you think that's a little primitive? Perhaps, but it is the best we have. Hmm. I suppose if we boost its power with an add-on, it might do the trick. Crude, but simple. Then let us make it so. All right, you antique. Do your thing. <gasps> My poor Medusa. Happy, happy, happy. This is not good. Where's a GameCube when you need one? Hurry, people! Come on, Bob! You can make it! Right, old friend. I am immune. 
Lucky me. Let Hexadecimal turn all my friends into stone, destroy Mainframe, and get away with it? I don't think so. How do you like my new garden, Scuzzy? It holds up so much better than some of my earlier members. Well, for now at least. Does it please you? I asked you a question! That would be me! That's a good one, Guardian. Infect me with the Medusa. How delightfully clever. Why, thank you. Now, we can't have any of that, young man. And you? Immune to my Medusa. How very disappointing. I'll just have to destroy you the old-fashioned way. Glitch! Why? As much as I enjoy the chaos you bring into my life, it is time to be rid of you once and for all. Uh, I like... Uh, I like how you've changed mainframe. Do you? And why is that, my love? Well, now that everything is set in stone, you've made Mainframe so predictable. What do you mean? Everyone in the same spot, never changing, never moving, nothing but still and quiet. How very peaceful it will all be now. Peaceful? Oh dear. How true. No more battles with Megabyte? Quiet! Silence! No more unexpected turn of events? No! No! What have I done? No! Just peace and calm forever. No! No! I must... I must stop it! Stop it all from going so very wrong! Now that is one strange lady. <laughs> it's one miracle after another. First I fix my car, then I save mainframe from the brink of destruction. <sighs> but most incredibly, Enzo and I actually get you to relax. You both should get a medal. Thanks. <sighs> but I think I'll settle for a long nap instead. Warning. Incoming game. Warning.
In Sector 7, guidance systems failing! Oh, oh man, this is ridiculous! We're an exploration ship, not a battle cruiser! Yeah, no choice. Our ship was the only one that could block onto Megatron's warp signature. Shields are doing a major fade! Plasma cannons to full power! Their shields are down! Destroy them! Now, where's the fun in that? A little torment, I think. First, yes, side guns. Ah, rupture! The stasis hold is failing! No! Oh, we're going down. <laughs> Launch all pods. Get them into safe orbit. Report. Believe me, you don't want to know. Uh, that's what I thought. Navigation! Is this the right planet? Unknown. Course settings were accurate, but readings are inconsistent with those expected for intended destination. Never mind that. Tell me there is Energon here. Confirmed. Yes! The planet has Energon. Too much Energon. Field readings are off the scale. Continued exposure to robotic forms will result in permanent damage. Oh. Then we will create alternate forms based on the most powerful local creatures. Replication of local life forms complete. You may emerge. Wow! Hey, look at me! I'm a cheetah! N no, no, I'm Cheetor! Hmm, interesting. Interesting? Optimus, the word is spot on smooth. <laughs> it's a crime. Eh, bit tacky. <laughs> you never had taste, did you, kid? Now this, <laughs> this is what class is all about. Call me Rat Trap. Oh, yeah? How's about I cut Mises to pieces? Ease back, Cheetor. Living large is for forms like me, Rhinox. Yeah, yeah, and just consider yourself lucky I didn't get rough. Bunyas. Moderate your conflict circuits, Maximals. Remember, these beast forms are to protect us from the long-term effects of the Energon fields out there. We may need Energon for power, but this is too much of a good thing. 
Our robot forms will start to short out after a few minutes' exposure. This is one unusual planet, whatever it is. Or whenever. The transwarp drive can go through space and time. We were locked onto Megatron's warp signature. We could be any place, any time. Yes, and our crew is orbiting the planet in those stasis pods we lost in battle. They're protected from the energon fields, but it means Megatron has us outnumbered. when you have the chance. You failed to bring us to the right planet. We stole the golden disk for nothing. You idiot! I beg your pardon? What did you call me? You heard. You are an idiot and an incompetent leader. And I am taking over. Dinobot... Terrorize! I challenge you to battle Megatron. The winner shall lead the Predacons, and the loser shall be destroyed. Oh, you're so impulsive, Dinobot. Brave, but misguided. Do you accept my challenge? <laughs> <laughs> there's more to being a leader than simple courage. Well, there's cleverness and cunning as well. Isn't that right, Scorpionock? <laughs> Loser. What does it matter which planet we're on? We came looking for Energon, and this planet is rich with the element. Enough Energon to power the Predacons' entire galactic conquest! Only the Maximals could give us trouble now. If they survive the crash, find them! And if you find them, destroy them! was Cybertron's most carefully guarded relic, Rat Trap. It gave the location of a major Energon source. That's why Megatron stole it. <laughs> yeah, like I care. You know, we were supposed to be doing deep space exploration. <laughs> Playing Galactic Patrol wasn't nowhere in my job description, you know what I'm saying? You sure you cut out for this commander gig? Uh, remember the Great War, Rat Trap. If the Predacons get enough Energon, they'll start it again. We can't let that happen. Besides, you wanted exploration, and here we are on an unknown planet. What more do you want? Well, uh, call me picky, but a working spacecraft might be nice. <sighs> Just no pleasing some people. Hey, check it! <sighs> They're fast, all right. You chose a good form. Hey, you think that speed? You ain't seen the golden rocket. Check this! Cheetor, no! Cheetor, return to base immediately. We don't have time for this. Cheetor, please respond. No good. The Energon fields mess up the comlinks. Anything over a hundred meters, they ain't worth scrap. Well, that's just prime. So, uh, this is your first day in the job, or what? Shut up, Rat Trap. Oh, yes, sir. You know, I feel just heaps better knowing that our lives are in your capable hands. We're all gonna die. <laughs> 
the name's Cheater. What's shaking, cats? What? Is it my breath? Hey, hey, wait! Those two reacted, that's no natural life form. And if we're talking unnatural life forms, then we gotta be talking about just one thing. Robots in disguise! Cheater! Maximize! <laughs> Time for this cat to pounce! <laughs> Once beneath her under attack, once beneath her engaged enemy, once beneath her terrorize! Move! Move! on that, Maximals. No. <laughs> For I believe that you are soon to have, how shall I put it, difficulties of your own. Yes. We don't have to do this, Megatron. There has been peace between the Maximals and Predacons for centuries. Why start this up again? Peace, perhaps on your side, Maximal scum. Yes, but not on ours. Permit me to inform you that an enemy which appears to be peaceful may in fact be merely biding its time. <laughs> Finally! We Predacons have never abandoned our rightful goal of galactic conquest. No, we have merely been waiting for the right moment to strike! You mean like this? Cheater! Ah, oh, a treacherous, underhanded sneak attack. Oh, I like you, Pussycat. Yes. But it shall avail you not. No. For now, the power gauntlet has been cast. Predacons, terrorize! Do it. Maximize! Tarantulas, terrorize! <laughs> Rhinox, maximize! <laughs> Red Trap Maximize! Terrasaur Terrorize! Megatron Terrorize! Optimus Maximize! Now, obliterate them! Oh, 
I'm... I'm stuck! Rat Trap, help Cheeto! We'll cover you! <laughs> yeah, right! That's an order, Rat Trap! Yeah? And you can just kiss my skid plate, Fearless Leader, because I ain't going out there and getting my pelt punctured. Ugh! So thin. Let's get one thing straight, Rat Trap. I am commander of this group, and when I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. Oh, yeah? So I get vaped because you're too chicken to go yourself. I will not give an order I would not be willing to do myself. But I was capable of giving you better cover fire. You were not. Ick. Come on, what are you shorting about? We got out of there alive, didn't we? But injured. It'll take time for our beast forms to affect internal repairs. Yeah, yeah, well... Better you than me. I think we gave him the fade, Optimus. Keep your sensors on full. According to the Golden Disc theft reports, there were six Predacons. One of them was missing from the battle. Yeah, well, uh, maybe he was destroyed in the crash. That kind of luck we haven't been getting much of lately. Tell me about it. Look! Should we blast them? Keep that option open, but hang on. Attention, Maximals! My name is Dinobot. I have left the Predacons to join your group as leader. What? Did I hear the word leader? This guy's got bearings of chrome steel. I hereby challenge you, Optimus Primal, to a one-on-one -on -one battle. The winner shall lead the Maximals, and the loser shall be destroyed. of the Maximals. You and I, one on one. The winner shall be leader. And for the loser, well, it is a long way down. I don't want to fight you. You do not have a choice. Your command center is back there, and no one crosses this bridge until you face me. Don't we get a say in this? Let Chopper face in the boss monkey duke it. No fur off of my tail. No way! Hey, Scale Belly! How's about you try a piece of the bad kitty, huh? Cool your circuits, Cheetor. I wouldn't send anyone to do anything I wasn't willing to do myself. 
Oh, yeah, right now he says that. Oh, this is foolish, Dinobot. We're Maximals. You are a Predacon. All oh, the more reason I should lead, then. Look, I don't know what happened between you and Megatron. Megatron! Megatron will fall as soon as I have your Maximals at my command. You are welcome to join us, but you shall not lead. I beg to differ, for in anticipation of my new role as leader, I have already reprogrammed my activation code. Dinobot, maximize! Optimus Primal, maximize! anything yeah like it or not we gotta let him finish <laughs> That's not how we Maximals do things. Then... Uh, that... will have to change! <laughs> doing you'd won you slipped to defeat you in such a manner would be lacking in honor i would not have earned the right to lead i prefer to beat my opponents the old-fashioned way Brutally! <laughs> For a Predacon, Dinobot, you have qualities I could like. And you uh, have proved to be a worthy adversary. I will have you recycled with full honors. Well, that's just prime. Well, this is an interesting sight. Yes, Optimus and the traitor Dinobot engaged in battle. Who do you think's gonna win? Oh, us beneath a bet on Optimus. <laughs> the winner isn't what interests me. Nor me. No. How much more preferable it would be if they both lost. Yes. Megatron, terrorize! Terrorizer, ah! terrorize! <laughs> Shift your scanners to east there, pals. This party has got big time crashes. Fire! Yeah. 
if you guys aren't doing anything. A little speed would be prime. Make them fall, yes! Let's go! Cheater! Maximize! Rhinox, maximize! Hey, hey, hey! You go and get yourself scrapped, cause I ain't... Alright, alright. The energon fields, I am sorting out. Hang on! You can't transform in this position! Release me! Let me fall and save yourself! Now, where's the honor in that? You have no choice. Then we both go! Going up? This is our opportunity! Yes! All weapons! Welcome. You're the leader. It's your, uh, job. <laughs> Incompetence! You let them escape! Megatron! Look up there! The missiles! Energon! Yes! Raw, natural energon crystal. I knew it was here. Quickly, return to beast mode. Raw energon. In its natural form, it's highly unstable. We're lucky those missiles didn't cause it to explode. If you can call it lucky. Megatron's on the move! Bearing 6175. He's after the Energon. A crystal that size would make him unstoppable. Oh, uh, thanks a lot for the hot tip, Scale Belly. Rhinox, scrap this game. Hold on, Rhinox. Will he send flyers? Oh, for booting up cold? You're not gonna believe a Predacon, are you? That's my call. Will he? Hmm. Negative. The crystal is too big for the flyers to carry. Only Tarantulas has the skill to segment it. Then we have to get there first. All five of us. Yeah, <laughs> all five of us. You mean Chopper Face is going with? We're all gonna die. Hey, wait for me! So much ever, John. With a crystal that size, the Predacon forces will be unstoppable. Yes, the Maximals, and then the galaxy, will be ours to conquer. How are you feeling? Improved. I believe my internal repairs have been completed. Mm, I was wondering... Your flying robot form could make it to the crystal before any of us. No. We have to stay together. The Predacons could attack at any moment. And there may be other surprises on this planet. There are. Down there, look. Hmm. 
unusual. Any opinions? Just one. It isn't natural. We didn't build it, and neither did the Predacons. Heads up! Yeah, well, what about him? He's with us. Yeah, yeah, I ain't buying it just because you say so. Hold your fire. We could start an avalanche. You crossed your wires. They're coming back. this. One more time. I, uh, yeah, I don't trust predicates. We've got enough trouble with Megatron's crew without fighting amongst ourselves. Now come on! So much energon. Yes, I can almost taste its power. The energon fields would destroy us as robots in less than a minute. We will have to stay in beast form. And Optimus and the Maximals are coming! They must stay in beast form as well. And I will handle Optimus personally. It has come to this, Optimus Primal. Face to face, tooth to claw. Yes. Have you anything to say? I'd say that's prime. Let's do it. <laughs>
surrender, Megatron! You're trapped! No! You shall not defeat me! did not imply loyalty, Optimus. I owed you my life. Now we are merely even. I'll accept that. Yeah, well, uh, at least Megatron's gone, and so's the Energon. So it's over. Can we go home now? No, Rat Trap. For now, we're stranded here with the Predacons on this unknown planet. Megatron may be back, and there is still more Energon. If they ever get enough, they could conquer the galaxy. So for now, let the battle be here, on this strange primitive world, and let it be called Beast Wars!
work, Rhinox. Well, still needs a field test. Test? I'm your bot. What you got? Rhinox cobbled together a new comlink. It's going to solve our long-range communication problems. If it works. <laughs> well, let's find out. <laughs> Whoa, Ultra Gear! Cheetor, it's a valuable piece of equipment. Take care of it. I copy, Big Bot. What do I do? The device is voice activated. Just talk into it and we'll hear you. We hope. Head away from the base at Vector Omega and check in every 10 microquads. We'll see how far we can track you. If you encounter any Predacons, return immediately. I'll be moving too fast for them to see me. <laughs> He'll do fine. Megatron will reward me for finding this if I can ever get it out of this blasted rock! Ah! Scorpidoc, terrorize! <laughs> Cheater to Optimus, do you read me? Yes, and he's over five microquads away. Looks like it's working. So far... I just heard some kind of explosion. I'm gonna check it out. I'll talk to you in a minute. Explosion? Wait, Cheetor, don't! He's moving again. <sighs> I'm going after him. If he calls in, tell him to get out of there now! Cheater to Optimus. Optimus is on his way. He said you should get out of there. No can do, Baby Blue. Scorpinox here and he's found a mega cannon. He must have come from their ship. I've got to stop him before he gets it back to their base. Cheater out. Mm -hmm. Still operational. Megatron will be pleased. And you'll be slag if you don't stay right where you are, Clawful. Clicking makes me twitch, and there's a full charge in this beauty. Ah, ah, away from the big boomer, plug ugly. Cheater to base. I got the gig in hand. Tell Optimus to home in on my signal. Cheater to base. Come in, Rhinox. Uh, 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 you're making me twitch again. And I'll make you scream. <laughs> Scorpidoc, terrorize! Yes! Better grab that weapon while you can and get it back to base. Optimus is coming! Don't give me orders! I'm second in command! You will take the cannon back, and I will see to Optimus! You hear me? Tarantulas? 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 Cheetor! Cheetor! Oh, his signal stopped. Could be energon interference. Better use scan mode. Target spotted. Locking in. Cheetor! Cheetor!
just you and me, mega jerk. <laughs> Never learn. And when will you learn, Pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> Is loud. Ow. Hey, Big Bada. What happened out there? Pit, you took a Predacon missile right in the chest plate. Guess you aren't as fast as you thought, huh, kiddo? And you got my comm link trashed. Hey, at least I proved it worked. Rhinox said you reported something about a mega cannon. Well, that's right. It must have blown off their ship in the crash. Scorponok found it, so I catted in and got the drop on him. <laughs> I'd uh, say that you were the one that got dropped. Hey, Tarantulas was there, too. He got behind me, and when I tried to take him out... Scorponok capitalized on your mistake. Yeah, I guess so. Rhinox worked on that comlink for a month, and he doesn't have the components to build another one. You've cost us an advantage. I couldn't let him get away with that cannon. Oh, yeah, you, uh, you took care of that real good, kiddo. <laughs> Back off, rat face! Or I'll have a little vermin on a stick for lunch! You back off, now! Sorry, Optimus, I... Sorry isn't enough. We're in a war for survival, and you treat it like a game. If you had obeyed orders, all this could have been avoided. I'm going to call Dinobot in from the perimeter. We'll need his knowledge of the Predacon base to do something about that mega cannon. Well, I can get inside their base. Let me do it, Optimus. You've done enough. I better come up with a plan. If I know Optimus, he'll want to move fast. Yeah, with me in front. <laughs> no thanks, partner. The pussycat got us into hot oil. Let him dance into Predacon HQ. Well, at least I'm not afraid to do it. You know, that is why you mess up, kiddo. You don't have the sense to be afraid. Oh, yeah? I'll show you what I have the sense to do, Motorhead. You and Big Bot. What? You know what he's gonna do. Ah, he's just, he's just grinding his gears. I mean, even he's not dumb enough to disobey the great Optimus again. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay, 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 I'll stop him. If I can catch him. Sheesh, the rotten little guys. Move quickly. All I have to do now is wait for the right moment. What? 
You need a maintenance bot badly. <laughs> You're in a stasis web. It drains away the energy, but leaves the flesh alive. At its current setting, this will take only a few moments. <laughs> But I find a slower pace makes the vital fluids taste so much better. <laughs> uh, whoa, you're one space happy spider. Cheater, maximize! I'm afraid the web makes that impossible. Cat you are and cat you stay. And when your energy's gone, I feel. <laughs> Frontal assault now, before Megatron has a chance to use the cannon against us. Impossible. The modifications would be too extensive. He's more likely to emplace it as a defensive weapon. Question is, where? Rhinox, this is your specialty. Take a look. And where's Rat Trap? I'll need him to scout. Uh, still talking to Cheetor. <sighs> we waste too much time talking. We must act. Rushing in headlong won't help. No, no, no. Destroy them. have a bug in my program to be doing this for that dumb feline. <laughs> Ugh, I can smell his stink even in this sludge box. Hey, something's weird here. Not long now. <laughs> this is a dumb plan, Webface. I don't have any real blood, just mech fluid. Oh, my filters will adjust. It is the act I enjoy more than the nourishment. You know, you were one sick bug, Eight Eyes. <laughs> the rat! <laughs> you got it. Now, what do you say you let my pal go? Tarantulas, terrorize! Red trap, maximize!
on, kiddo! Unable to respond. Incorrect energy signature. Incorrect energy signature. Unable to respond. Incorrect energy signature. Unable to respond. Incorrect energy signature. Incorrect energy signature. Incorrect energy signature. Incorrect. Guess I'll have to use my own signature. Unable to respond. Incorrect energy signature. Hey, rat face. What's the good word? Game over, Vermin. Give my regards to the Inferno! Yeah, uh, fearless leader. What's the haps? Where have you two been? Uh, just hocking around. You know, Cheeto needed some activity. You were kind of rough on him before. Everybody makes mistakes, you know. Oh, well, maybe you're right. I'm sorry, Cheeto. I shouldn't have been so harsh. No, you were right, Big Bot. I messed up, but I won't do it again. From now on, this cat is a team player. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, uh, thanks for not telling him about... Save it, kiddo. If I told Optimus about your little play date with Tarantulas, he'd kick my sweet pink butt, too. And one more thing. If you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will personally rearrange your spots. Now, get out of my way. Yeah, I got garbage to munch. And thanks for saving my life, pal.
has been breached by the beast planet. Impact estimated at T minus 30 and counting. Attention, all planetary circuits are reaching critical mass. Stay in formation and be alert. There are beast drones all around us. Don't look back. There's nothing we can do. Armada. It's ready to jump. We've got to get there first. Beast Armada in position. Preparing for warp jump. Beast drones! They're on to us! Switch to full thrusters! I can't shake them! about the coming of the beast. Somebody must remember. All life on planet Tech has ceased. Father, I will not fail you. Let's go. Local thermoscans deployed. Do you copy? External thermal scan still showing red. We'll keep you posted. All right, man. Let's get to work. Freezing my rocks off here. It could be worse. I was part of the last raid to Planet Fire. My suit was like an oven. Thanks, sir. Name's not 
sir. It's Graveheart. Now let's be careful out here, okay? I wouldn't want to lose you. Orbiting planetary bodies. Four planets support life. Set course for nearest planet. Captain, we're going blue. Contact the scouts. Find out what's happening out there. Perimeter, what's your status? Repeat, perimeter, what's your status? Is anybody out there? No answer, Captain. We. Sir! I've got nothing but blue! We've got incoming! Come on! Hold your positions! Nobody leaves until a ship is loaded! No way! We're cutting loose now! I'm not putting my men in any more danger! I'm in charge of this mission, and I say when we leave. Do I have to remind you how important this water is to our planet? Not more important than men's lives! Captain! The mist! Fog. It's too late. Warriors! Lock and load! If it's a fight they want, then you would already be dead. crown. It's King Cryos himself. Men of Rock, you have gambled and lost. You have raided our world for the final time. And now you must pay the price. down easy insect nevertheless you will go down now lower your weapons and surrender you are all prisoners of planet ice never King Cryos you stand ready to condemn us and yet your people have done the same to our world who dares me I'm just a miner a thief you mean no a miner just someone out to help his world. Then you should have stayed off ours. You know we can't do that. We need your water to survive. So you steal it? Yes. Yes, we do. Just as you steal from us and we both steal from planets fire and bone. We need each other's natural resources to survive. And you know it. It is our way of life. Then allow us to leave your planet and we'll leave your precious ice. Our precious water. No! We won't leave without the ice. We can't. Your comrades damn you, rock hound. I am sworn to protect my world and my people. I will not violate that oath. is this? You tell me. Uh. Uh. Run. First, let's see if you can stand. No. Run!
these beasts. Our argument has been settled for us. It's too bad we won't live to find out who won. Are you and what are those? I am Tekla of Planet Tech. My ally is Vox. And those? Those are the Beast Thrones, servants of the Beast Planet. Beast Planet? An evil world whose sole purpose is destruction. It has just consumed my system. My world. And now it sends its drones to do the same to yours. Not if I can help it. It appears you can't, Rockhound. These creatures, what are they made of? No matter. Yeah, but how can you stop them? Aim for the containment unit. Destroy that and you destroy the drone. these weapons, it will be impossible to stop them all. Well, I've had enough of this. Wait! Come back! He flees. The men of rock are known to be brittle at the spine. Problems need big solutions. Humor? By the great Glacier. Sonic Cannon. Care to join me? It's over, for now, but the cost was beyond measure. At least your planet is safe, your majesty. Is that the last of the beast drones? I'm afraid not. The beast forces are infinite in number. Those drones were sent to silence me, to stop my warning. This is my mission. Planet Tech's gift to this system. But the Beast Planet is myth. A story told to frighten unruly children. Really? 
Then tell them the story of my lost homeworld. No! Promise me, man of stone. Complete my mission. Warn the worlds of this system. Stop the beast planet. Me? But I'm just a miner. I'm not a warrior. You have a warrior's strength and a leader's heart. Bring your worlds together. Combine their forces. Lead them against the beast. But I'm only one man. How can I... Your heart will show you the way. Tekla? Princess Tekla is currently offline. <sighs> Look at me. A commoner among kings. Who would have thought I... Uh... Awake. Allow the rock man some room to breathe, Zira. <clears throat> Relax, Miner. Our nanonites can be used to heal as well as hurt. Am I your prisoner? Hardly. Braveheart. So, remind me, why have you set me free? You could have fled, and yet you stayed to defend people who, moments before, had threatened to destroy you. My people. It was the... the right thing to do. I don't know how else to explain it. You can count on Ice to be the first to stand at your side. Logically, we stand a better chance against the beast if we combine our forces. Tekla was right when she... Tekla? Is she... Come, let me show you! You will have to forgive my daughter, the Lady Zira, her enthusiasm. Tekla's status unchanged. We're keeping her in stasis while she heals. The Nanonites have repaired her body, but she is damaged here, inside. Her thoughts are injured. Then it's up to us. Somehow we have to unite our four worlds against the threat of the approaching beast planet. Yes. Four worlds that have been deadly enemies since before the dawn of time. Then I guess we better get started. The enemy draws closer by the minute.
Coming into range. Rock's battle moves. Your planet's first and most formidable line of defense. I understand they've stopped your armies on more than one occasion. Yes, they have. Perhaps this would be the best time for you to clear a path. Don't look at me. I'm just a miner. Only quarriers have the access codes. I was hoping your diplomacy would see us through. Diplomacy? With Lord Mansell? Impossible. Your Majesty, the moons are now active and locking in. Open a hailing frequency to the planet. You're in our sights, insect. State your mission. I am Cryos, servant of the glacier and king of planet ice. Not good enough. Prepare to be destroyed. Wait, this is Graveheart, minor granite class. I'm accompanying the king and he wishes to invoke the Treaty of Four. He has some crust evoking that ancient treaty. Be that as it may, tell Lord Mantle I am here to see him. <sighs> In the name of Lord Mantle, the Rock of Rock, I grant you safe passage. For now. There. That wasn't so bad. Good to see you. I was hoping... Graveheart, in the name of Lord Mantle, you are under arrest. We were promised safe passage. You have diplomatic immunity, but he must answer to Lord Mantle. Take it she was a friend of yours? The best. I'd trust her with my life. Why would you value your life so cheaply? I 
thought the reception on your world was cold. the Ice King and the Miner, as you commanded. Lord Mantle, I bring you- Silence! Were you not sent on a mission with my greatest warriors? Yes, my lord. That is what I must tell you. Where are they? Why aren't they here? They were slain, my lord. All of them. And why weren't you? I was lucky. If it wasn't for the Sonic Cannon... And now you stand with my greatest enemy. He has information that affects us all, Mantle. Enough! Leave my planet, Ice King, or I'll have you reduced to slush. Surely you would not ignore a warning from your own people. He is no longer... Go, Your Majesty. Please. You can do nothing more here. Very well. It appears I have overstayed my welcome. But you do well to heed his warning, Rock Lord. My Lord! Jade, please. This data crystal will explain everything. Save your breath. You are charged with treason. And you will answer for it. Guards! But the crystal... much to look at, but I suppose it will serve. For now. Duh, who cares how it looks? Our mission is to destroy and conquer. No, Block. They were sent here to test the strengths and weaknesses of these worlds. And destroy their defenses. And the quickest way to do that is with my drones. So stay out of my way, Lamprey. Void agrees. Beast drones to me! <laughs> Braveheart led me to believe there was more to you, Rock People. How sad that he was wrong. My mission. Warn the worlds of this system. Stop the beast planet. planet, planet, planet. You believe this nonsense? I don't just believe it, Jade. I lived it. Prepare to deactivate the moons.
I am in position. Stand by for my signal. Now! Let the carnage begin. He'll even look at the crystal? He looked. He thinks you're a madman. And what do you think? I prefer not to. Jade, Lord Mantle will listen to you. You must make him see reason. I'm only a soldier. I follow orders. The threat of the beast planet is real. The cluster must work together, or we're doomed to perish separately. Jade, you know me better than that. I'm not sure I knew you at all. After you quit the army... Don't go there. Now's not the time or place. Don't move. Like I have a choice. Seal off the control core. Unidentified invader attacking the planet, Commander. Battle Moon Control Core is sealed, but we can't hold out. Ice Mites? Nothing we've ever seen before. It appears to be no matter bound by a Genesis Matrix. So, maybe you haven't gone mad. Situation. The control core is under assault. All access has been cut off. Without the control core, there's no way of activating the defense moons. Rock would be helpless. Not if I have something to say about it. Remember that tunnel? How could you think of that now? No, I mean the one when we were kids. The one that led directly to the Battle Moon Core. You and me against the odds. Just like old times. Don't remind me. Device to planet fire. 
it is imperative that I speak to your prince. Go away, Ice Worlder. The prince cares nothing for you or your world. What I have to say concerns us all. Planet Rock is under attack by a new enemy. I must speak to the prince. You speak as if we should care. The problem is theirs to resolve. We've gone the wrong way. No. They've blocked the tunnel. So they have. Thing. Doubt it, but I'll try. Get ready. Manual control online. Get in. Got him in my sights. taste of what's to come. You see, my lord, the beast planet overwhelms. It swarms before devouring its enemy. Rock cannot stand alone. And I cannot permit an alliance with our most hated enemies. But you've seen the beast's power. And they've seen ours. Our battle moons can handle them if need be. They simply took us by surprise this time. It won't happen again. Still, we do owe you a small debt for your help in driving off the invaders. You owe me nothing, Lord Mantle. Then swear loyalty only to Rock, and you will once again be welcome here. I... I can't. Our only hope of survival is uniting all the worlds of our sun against the beast. Then get out of my sight. Dare to return, and you will be executed. Contact Cryos. Tell him to come and pick up his new friend.
I've attempted to contact Prince Pyrus of Fire. His vizier, though, is a bit overprotective. Then we'll just have to find some way around him. Not so fast. I'm going with you. Then you do believe in the Alliance? No, but I believe in you. And somebody has to watch your back with this ice flea around. Charming. I must say this is the start of a beautiful friendship. when you'd find me? Why must you continue to play such foolish games? What can I say? It's a fun way to blow off steam. <gasps> you know what I mean. I just heard your plan to allow that ice trash, Cryos, to come to our world. He called and I said yes. What's the big deal? Our worlds have been at war for centuries. This is not for you alone to decide. Our law dictates... You forget! As Prince, I am the law. Apologies, young sire. It is just... With your father gone, you are my responsibility. I thought I had taught you better. You taught me just fine. But if you want me to be king, I've got to learn to act like one. But now is not the time to start. You are far from ready. And they are our greatest enemies. Well, you'll be with me, right? Uh, just because I'm young, I don't think Kryos will treat me any differently. I'm sorry. But diplomatic missions are no place for children. 
But father, you need me. What are you doing? Having my luggage put on board. Careful, that's very fragile. Have I been talking to myself? I need you to stay here. My world would have no meaning if I lost you. Besides, you're still too young. I'm not too young, and I really want to go. Why, thank you, Father. I would be honored to accompany you in this service to our people. Our royal standing forbids me from berating her in public. Just keep her out of my way. This will be my first trip to Planet Fire in years. Is that because you specialized in raiding my planet? Look, I said I was sorry. I believe you said it was only business, just like our trip here. So, when were you last on fire, so to speak? During the Golden Jubilation. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Cluster's last true chance at peace. What went wrong? What didn't? It was a, a difficult moment. One I'm sure the Grand Vizier remembers quite well. You think he'll be a problem? Let's say he is... excitable. Even by fire standards. We are ready for their treachery, my prince. Easy, easy. They're here to end a war, not start one. When insects are involved, one can never be sure. this scene please lower your weapons do as he says who are you man of rock and why are you here My name's graveheart and i'm traveling with king cryos why you and not your king uh, you know king mantle nothing can pry him from his throne oh we've no time for this let's go and they say we're hot-headed why don't we talk about this back at the palace not without me you don't this is my daughter the Lady Zira. I thought you said no kids allowed. All our peoples combined are still outnumbered by the Beast Drones. But even they pale against the power of the Beast Planet. I'm not worried. Planet Fire has held its own against any foe and beaten them. Another day, another threat, another dog sent running. I hope for your sake you're right. Because this is a menace that can destroy us all. To survive, we must all stand together. Well, if it is our allegiance you crave, perhaps a test is needed to prove your worthiness. The trial by fire? Precisely.
Don't worry. It can't be as bad as it looks. How can I protect you when you keep taking stupid chances? If the job was easy, anyone could do it. Wait for me here. I'll be back. Don't worry. She is not going anywhere. Don't even think about it. Jade, for once, don't hurt anybody. Please. No promises. To pass the trial, you need only follow the sacred path. How are you holding up? How I feel is not important in the face of the task at hand. Please, Father. You can't. For the good of us all, I must. There's no way you can survive this. I will, because I must. Now, do you wish to lead, or shall I? permission to enter. I don't need permission. I'm royalty too, so if my father gets hurt, I promise you won't live to regret it. It's out of my hands. Besides, it was his choice, remember? Maybe I should stick your father in an ice canyon. My father? Get out of here! This is my palace, and we'll do things my way! Is there anything I can do? Yes. Stop asking. Your repeated questions only draw attention to this unbearable heat. Let us proceed with haste. As you say, Your Majesty. Don't you walk away from me. We're not done talking. Get off my bridge. You don't belong here. And my father doesn't belong inside that volcano. You're starting to get on my nerves. Just starting? I must be slipping. Ah! Ah! That it matters to you, but well, my father used to bring me here when I was a kid. He always said from here you could see all the beauty of our planet. Sometimes I, well, I come here to think. Where is your father? And why can't he stop this stupid trial? I'm sorry. I didn't think. That's right. You didn't. 
What's that? Beast drones? Given our current situation, my only comfort is the knowledge that my daughter is safe. What are they? I believe they're called lava dogs. Wouldn't happen to have any biscuits on you, would you? Go ahead. I'll be fine. Then we'll be fine together. Units aren't. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> this won't hold them long. Perhaps there is one thing to be done. Nanites. But without them, you'll... It appears we're out of choices.
forgive me, Father. I know that place was special to you. I got tired of waiting. Any word of my father? Leave me. And save yourself. Now it's your turn to stop asking. Sorry we're late. Traffic was murder. Can it be? The insect in the rock hound. You survived. But how? That does not matter. What does is that we have passed your test and earned your allegiance. Never! Ah! You do not speak for the Prince. We'd be happy to join the Alliance. Isn't that what you were going to say? Father, I was so worried. After Pyrus and I fought the Beast Drones, I was sure... You and Pyrus? Beast Drones? What is going on here? It's a long story, but if you're anything like your daughter, the Beast Planet doesn't stand a chance. Ha, 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 ha.